that like button, hit that subscribe button, and welcome back to another episode of Walking and Talking and Ride and Slide with your boy, Courtney P. And today, we talk about America, we talk about the military, we talk about some real, true soldiers out here. Tell us your name, bro, and what you represent. Anthony Windsor, retired Sergeant First Class for the United States Army. So, Mr. Windsor, what made you basically go into the military or pursue the military? Well, after staying in restaurant management for after like 10 years, I figured out like, I didn't want to do this the rest of my life. So I had to come up with a plan on where can I go somewhere and learn a, a job skill. Cause I had no skills, I had no education. And uh, military was first to come to mind. And I would join the uh, United States Army Reserve. Army showed me how to do every kind of weld it is. Came home and became a welder. And as a result, I worked at Trinity before they closed down, old Pullman Standard. And then I got hired at the uh, CSX Railroad, became a mechanical car inspector, and I retired from there. So, if it was a young guy that was like 15, 16 years old, and I know some situations with the military has changed from when you, you know, got in, you know, many years ago, as opposed to now, what would you tell a young person thinking about joining the military? If you don't have options, if you don't have that option of luxury uh, uh, going to college or have a job skill that you already know, I would recommend going to the military. But keep in mind, you're going to get out of the military what you put into it. A lot of people go in expecting you just going to you know, go off and see the world, but it has its pluses and minus. But you stick with it, it'll be worth it, and uh, it'll pay off in the future. So obviously you gave us many pros in regards to the military. What type of cons? You did say that, you know, obviously, you know, you get to travel the world. Obviously, I know you get get pretty good benefits, but what would you what would be kind of one of the cons, one of the tough things to deal with being being in the military? Being away say? from home. Being away from home, being away from your family, being away from your loved ones, missing uh family events, birthdays, graduations. That's time that you can't get back. But, you know, at the same time, you meet new people, make new friends, and people I met in the military, I'm friends with them, you know, from, I'm more close to them than people I've known all my life. Um, it, it, was just, it was just a good thing for me. I'm glad I stuck with it. There were days when I wanted to quit, but I had uh, people that motivate me to keep going, and I did just that. I'm now glad, I'm glad I did. Well, you know, it's always great to talk to a true soldier, and this is a true soldier. This man did over 30 years in the military, you know, and I'm only 43 years old, so most of my life, he was in the military. So like I say all the time, we're going to keep it positive. We're going to keep it pushing. We're making allies over enemies again and again and again. Thanks for walking and talking and riding and sliding with your boy, Courtney P., with a true soldier.